Hello, in this video I'm going to do one example on the topic of trigonometry. Let's read the question. Okay, the question is a practical application where we can use trigonometry to find speed. Okay, so if there is no wind blowing, rain falls vertically at an angle at 9 meters per second. So that should be a full stop here. Okay, so I've drawn this figure. So AB is showing the rain falling vertically and it has a speed of 9 meters per second. You should say the velocity. Okay, the velocity is 9 meters because it has, it shows you the direction. So it has got the magnitude and the direction or the direction. <coughs> the wind blowing makes makes the rain come down at an angle. That's very obvious. <coughs> so this is the rain, suppose, which is falling vertically. And because of the because of the wind, the rain would uh, move at an angle. That's what they're saying. So this is vertical when there's no rain. Sorry, when there's no wind, this is the rain. When there is no wind, and if there is wind, the rain will move at an angle. That's very simple to understand. Caroline and Duncan measures the angle of the falling rain at the same time. To Caroline, the rain appears to be falling down east towards the east at an angle of 51 degrees to the vertical. So this is Caroline standing here and to her it appears this rain which uh, would have moved vertically if there were no wind is now making an angle of 51 degrees to the vertical. So this is, that's how I have shown that this angle is 51 degrees. So let us find slowly, uh, so we want to find BC. So can we find BC? Okay. So well, we can say you got this right angle triangle and you got an angle. So let me write that. So in triangle ABC, angle ABC is 90 and angle BAC is angle BAC is 51 degrees <laughs> so we know we want to find BC and we've got an angle and this is an adjacent side so can I say tan 51 tan is opposite over adjacent so your opposite is BC over your adjacent is AB okay so we can write this is a velocity vector so the magnitude is 9 meters you can write ABS suppose you can say AB is a vector okay and uh, the quant the value of that vector or the magnitude of the vector is 9 meters per second so I can write tan 51 is equal to BC over 9 meters per second if you want to. So making BC the subject, I can say BC is 9 meters per second times 10 51. So let me get the calculator out and I'll make sure my calculator is set on degrees. So that's the first thing whenever you're using trigonometry and you have a graphic calculator or any calculator you should always check whether your angle is at the right degree. We are working in degrees, so your calculator should be on degrees. I'll explain that again. To confirm that in a graphic calculator, you go press Shift, Setup. So this yellow is always for the shed, uh, uh, is this yellow letter always is associated with the Shift key. So you scroll down, and if you want to work in radians, you set it in radians. And if you want to set in degrees, you go on degrees. Okay, now you may wonder what is gradient. Gradient is uh, something engineers use. 90 degrees is 100 gradients, just for information. Okay, oh, so it's set on degrees, so we exit, and then you go 9 times 10, 51. I'll round this to 1 dp, so it's 11.1 .1 meter squared. Now, what does that mean? BC, BC is also a vector. So let me write BC as a vector. The magnitude of that vector is, say, 11.1 .1 meters per second. 
So now this ring, what you're saying is, the the this ring has oh I'll not go into much of vector, but I hope you understand this is this any any particle which is moving has a vertical and a horizontal. So you can see this ring, this it is a resultant vector. Okay, this is a resultant vector, and this is a horizontal part. The horizontal part is 11.9 meters. So we want to find the velocity of the wind. Okay, I'll not go into the uh, vector part of this. So this is 11 meters per second. Okay, now the next part is you have to see angle A, B, D is also a right angle triangle. You have to see this in a 3D form. Imagine this is a tetrahedron and this ABC is a surface and BCD is the ground okay is is also a surface so this is two surfaces which are abc and bcd are vertical to each other are perpendicular to each other and this is from one corner to the other corner so i'll draw it here i'll write it here in triangle a b d okay you have to see this in a 3d form angle a b d is right angle that's difficult to see but if you can visualize in a 3d way you can see abd is a right angle and angle bad angle b a d is 32 degrees so you have to see this is 3d trigonometry so for this angle bad bd is the opposite side so that is also a vector you can imagine that as a vector so I can say tan of 32 degrees for 32 BD is the BD is the opposite is opposite so BD opposite over adjacent and adjacent is 9 meters per second so let me scroll down a little so I can say BA so let me write it down here clearly. So BA as a vector, we'll write now this as a vector, is 9 meters per second times 1032. Okay, so my calculator is already set on degrees now, so don't have to worry. This is again 9 times 1032. That's 5.6. So this is 5.6. 5.6 meters per second. So this is your vector VA. Okay, now let me go back to the diagram. Now this is a vector. Uh, so this is for Duncan, the horizontal component of the ring that appears to him is, this is, let me write this, this is 11.1, not writing the unit, and this is 5.6, isn't it? 5.6. So here, yeah, this is the resultant, uh, this is what they're asking, what is what is CD? It's a bit difficult to understand. Find the speed of the wind. So here, yeah, we are saying, we are taking the two components of the wind, uh, one for Duncan and one for, and you can see that these two are vertical to each other. So you can see the wind is probably moving like this so this is a vertical component or this is the ground BCD is the ground and this is a vertical component and this is a horizontal component and this is the resultant spe speed of the or resultant uh, velocity of the wind it's a bit difficult to see so I can say now here let me change color and draw a line here so that I can see what I mean okay so let me change to black now. <clears throat> so this is again, I'll repeat, this is the vertical component of the speed of the wind, and this is the horizontal component, and this is the resultant. So here you can use Pythagoras using Pythagoras. Again, uh, to use Pythagoras, you can see that BC, uh, angle B, sorry, CBD is a right angle angle CBD bit difficult to see CBD is equal to 90 
So, I can say C D squared is 5.6 squared plus 11.1 squared. Now, actually, if uh, C D, if you, this is, you to go from, uh, say, D to C, it is same as going from D to B plus B to C. So, actually, you should have, you should write this negative because if this is positive, if this is positive, if you go backwards, that is negative. But ultimately, it doesn't matter because you're squaring it. Okay. So, C D squared is same as 5.6 squared plus 11.1 squared. So, C D is square root of this whole thing. That is 5.6 squared plus 11.1 squared. So, let me get my calculator. So, shift square root bracket. 5.6 squared plus 11.1 squared. Close the bracket. And that's the answer, 12.4 meters per second. So you can say the speed of the wind, speed of wind is equal to, let me remember, it's 12.4 meters per second. 12.4 meters per second. Hopefully this video has been helpful. Uh, see you in the next video.